Big B. Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is... she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. I feel like there's something you're not telling me. He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. In case you're wondering, I found her like this. I can't tell you much else. It's a shock. I know. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What is... It's... a ribbon. There's... some kind of symbol here. Huh. I... I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Nothing much else to do. 
We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? The victim. She could be a symbol for something. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! I brought you this news as soon as I could. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away.
Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 